Hello there and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. Uh, this is going to be a weird episode because it's actually containing uh, film footage that I did several months ago, but I just didn't get around to releasing. These things happen in the creative process. And since that time, uh, another piece of the discussion has come up. So what I'm actually going to do is splice this footage in front of my original conversation because some of the points that I make in the video that you're about to see still hold true even to this. So I do apologize if this is a little jarring. To me, these don't necessarily require two videos unless I'm doing one introducing it and then one reviewing it. And that's probably what's actually going to happen. Now, this is the issue around messages on the computer. If you want this on Windows, up until recently there haven't been a whole lot of choices, but now there's actually two uh, if you are not using an iPhone. Uh, the first is the Cortana Assistant, which I will be demonstrating in the following video clip. The second is actually Android Messages. So if you are using the Android app, uh, for messages, there is an option at the very top, uh, messages uh, for web. And if you tap that, it'll ask you to scan a QR code on the computer. So you hit that, you move it over, and all of a sudden, the computer is going to load and display all of your messages, and you can now send and receive messages through this web app. Now, this is what I like to call in the technical term, cute. And the reason that I you know, find this cute and perhaps not as good of a solution as the Cortana app I'm about to demonstrate, and trust me, I know how weird that sounds, that something is actually good that Cortana is providing, is that so far this is just a web app and it offers absolutely zero integration to the operating system. And that is, to me, it's like, great, one more tab buried in all of the other tabs that I have to keep open to access my messages, and I'm not 100% sure how the notifications are even going to work. And then there's the issue of, well, what if I only want the notification to show who sent the message, not what the contents of the message is? Like, there's a whole lot of things going on. I'm going to stop talking for now, and I'm going to splice uh, the video footage that I took a little later on, or pardon me, a little earlier, and... I will be using both of these systems throughout the summer and I'll let you know if I find one being better than the other, uh, which one I can recommend, both or neither depending on your use case. I personally am highly unlikely to use either and I'll explain that in the video clip that will appear in front of you now. That was a terrible snap! Hi there everybody, this is just a short little video from Laptop Retrospective uh, discussing something that has come up quite a few times in the comments, and that is one of the difficulties in making the transition between Mac and Apple environment being iMessage. And for those of you that are not aware, iMessage is a service that allows your iPhone to send messages across all of your devices. So that goes to your iPad, your iPhone, your watch, the, the whole kit. And while it is a really cool feature, when I had all of these Apple devices, I pretty much had the thing turned off because I was uh, unable to have those notifications come in as very often I would be projecting or sharing my screen uh, with other people. And they didn't really need to see all of my work email and, and personal text and all that information coming across the screen. So I pretty much had that thing turned off. And when I was at home, I wasn't using those devices to check my messages. I was using my phone to check my message. So I really didn't miss moving away from that environment. But for those of you that will, there is an option. It will not be for everyone, but that is to install the Cortana on your phone. And what that'll allow you to do is send and receive text messages uh, on the computer as well as any other notifications that you get. From what I can tell, calls do not work yet, but it seems pretty clear that this is being made to contend uh, with that iMessage system without having to invest in a very specific headset. So there are some certain advantages uh, to be had there. Again, this is not a service that I'm planning on taking advantage of because 
Uh, I'm still sharing my screen a lot. I've kind of learned to live uh, without it. That between uh, having my tick watch and my phone pretty much around me all the time. While it is a, a neat feature, it's not necessarily one that I'm going to need. But for those of you that are making the switch, I will be keeping track of all these little things as they come up and recording uh, video footage like this to uh, share my findings. Maybe if I lick my fingers. Aha! Oh! Uh, glad to see you're back. That being said, now that you've seen both of the videos, I will do a follow-up a little later on. If you enjoy this sort of content, I highly encourage you subscribe there. And if you are interested in following me on social media, uh, Twitter and Curious Cat, I will be posting semi-frequent updates on how both of these systems are going. If you have any questions, comment section is there. And in, if you need any more description on how to get a hold of me, you can uh, check the description for uh, my Twitter handle the Curious Cat link, and all that good stuff. And I shall see you next time.